music and fashion mogul Russell Simmons was in Washington this week meeting with young entrepreneurs. We caught up with Simmons earlier and got his take on how young people can achieve their own success. Take a look. Appreciate it. Okay, a couple quick questions. You're a really busy guy. Why devote time to Summit Series? Because I think that the young entrepreneurs here have the, ch have the power to change the world. And if I can, you know, just get one person to be a greater giver, then I've given a lot because it's so influential and so powerful to people here. And if I can get them to ease up just a bit, when I was their age, all I want to do is get ahead. And then I get a little older and I realize you can't really get ahead. That giving is the basis of you getting in the first place. And so if I can make them ease up just a bit, they'll be so much more successful and do so, and do so much more good for the world. So that's a good reason to be here. When you were just starting out, did you ever imagine that one day you would be a role model for young entrepreneurs? No, I didn't imagine that, that I might be some, a role model. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a responsibility that I take, uh, personally take. Uh, I don't think anybody owes anybody anything, but I just like, it helps me sleep. If I can inspire people to be greater givers or do better, good, more good, or help more people. Or, so as a role model, if that's what I am, then, then I, I want to influence people. To, 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 uh, to be better for humanity, to do more for the environment, to, to protect the animals, to you know, uh, fight for the rights of others the way they would like people to fight for their own rights. To, you know, so all the foundations that I'm involved in and all the work that I support that other people are doing are on those subjects. If I can get other entrepreneurs to be the same or to help them with their quest, then that's, that's good. You champion a lot of causes. What do you want to see Washington get done right now? I think that the president has doing a lot of the good that he talked about. He's doing the prison reform. He's doing the drug policy reform. He's doing the, uh, the gay rights work that he promised. He's doing his work to end the war in Iraq or end our involvement and in trying to put, give them a way to survive. Uh, he's uh, uh, cautious about the way he's dealing with the rest of the world and he's not um, He's, he's reaching out to the Muslim community in a way that makes sense, not, to, not promoting more negativity, but trying to reach out and, and let the, the, the Muslim community know around the world that, that we respect them. Or in, the, in the past, we have not respected them. His speech in Cairo, something people forgot or didn't even realize, it was, didn't give anything up but love. He just came and spoke and didn't change anything. He didn't make a policy change. He just said to the Muslim community, we respect you. We, you know, and, and that's something that America has not done. So I think he's doing a lot of what he promised. His, his choices for the Supreme Court. His, uh, you know, the people are so angry because he's doing all the things he said. Same way some progressive people didn't like some of the choices that President Bush made. He was very thorough, he did his job. Now it's Obama's turn. He's thorough and doing his job, and I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Last question. You're here in Washington. You certainly know how to draw a big crowd. Any chance you could run for office one day? No, no, I got too many. <laughs> Someone said if you were to really tell America to stop eating hamburgers, that you would lose all the midterm elections. <laughs> they said, if, you know, because, you know, the, the lobbyists, if you were to tell, oh, my God, I have so many ideas about, about uh, government that are so different from what the mainstream is and so at odds with the businesses that support <laughs> our politicians that I couldn't raise any money. I, I'm sure of it, you know, so... You know, I see. I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry that there's so much influence, undue influence by lobbyists. I'm sorry we spend so much on military and so little on education. I'm sorry the way we abuse the planet and each other and the animals. I'm sorry about you know, but I don't think as a as a politician I'd, I'd be able to get a lot of support. But I can support those who are making certain changes, and I can have a voice, that's, you know, that that's uninhibited, and I like that. Well, thank you very thank much. You.